The Vatican is saying no comment to reports of 300 priests sexually abusing more than 1,000 children. This comes after a two-year investigation into the Catholic Diocese in Pennsylvania. The report says church leaders covered up these allegations and evidence for decades. We spoke with a representative for the Sioux Falls Catholic Diocese today to learn how they handle allegations locally. The investigation in Pennsylvania goes back 70 years with hundreds of records from the Catholic Diocese stating church leaders were aware of priests abusing young girls and boys. However, those allegations were never taken to law enforcement. You know, it's, it's, it's so hard to hear of this, particularly since, you know, this has been an issue for a long time. You'd, you'd like to think maybe we're going to get through this at some point, right? Jerry Klein with the Sioux Falls Catholic Diocese says the local church has a system in place to handle these sorts of situations if they come up. The people that minister in the church uh, now are very accustomed to the annual training that we do uh, to, uh, uh, to protect young people. Uh, anyone who is a minister or even a volunteer, if they work with children, go through that training annually. The diocese also trains kids on how to handle any abuse they may see or experience. Klein believes the future of the church can make a turn. Know the signs to watch for, are aware of some of the things that, that might be leading down the road to abuse and we can get ahead of it. Uh, I think that's what we have to do. So not covered up for 70 years? Oh, heavens no. I mean, that's just... Um, that's that's hard. That's really hard. Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro says while the list of priests is long, we don't think we got them all. He also says there are likely thousands of more victims who never came forward or whose claims weren't recorded by the diocese.